Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2 along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so continuing on, and um, we've been talking a lot about RNDR, and there's a lot of um, interest in being a node operator, because uh, that's how you make money. <laughs> so, at any rate, now, one thing to understand about being a node operator with um, the Render Network versus most of the chains that we've talked about is you just can't uh, set up a download a node, set it up, and off you go earning earning coin. Uh, they have a process, and there is let's see, there's an interest form, and um, this interest form you go through, and it's a whole. Now I haven't gone through it. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions, and then. If you're lucky, it'll put you on the list. Now, in order to, obviously, there are some minimum requirements. Um, you do need an, uh, an NVIDIA GPU. Um, let's see, compute capability. Uh, they recommend 8 gig of VRAM uh, capability of uh, compute capability. Let's see what that is. What define that? So now it wants to download drivers. So yeah, but at any rate, they go here the FAQ, and it'll give you all the miners. You have to fill out the interest form, and then you'll be contacted, and then you'll be put on the list, and then they'll let you. Um, so also you, there are three types of jobs, a uh, secure, uh, I don't even know if this is available yet, high priority and low priority. And obviously the high priority jobs cost more. Um, you need, I believe you need to have, let me verify that. Um, Let's see. Doesn't say you have to have a copy. You already have to have a subscription. I thought you may need to have a subscription. Uh, let's see. So they maybe as a if you get accepted, they'll give you a subscription. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So let's say you fill out the form and they accept you and they contact you and say, okay, it's, you can connect your node now. So here are the instructions. Um, you have to run, they'll, go, they'll send you instructions and you start the client. There's a configuration file. Uh, let's see, the client generates a render config.ini. Um, which GPUs, so let's say you have multiple GPUs, maybe you only want to use one or two for your node. Um, once you connect, your Ethereum will connect to RNDR and they'll run the benchmarks of the node. Once, it, so the application reloads, and once it knows how capable your node is, then it can start assigning jobs. Now, this is also interesting. And let's say you do a render and the artist will have two days, one to two days to approve it. Only once they approve your job do they get the, the do you get the money? Um, and you can track it. And let's say you have to stop because let's say you have a big render job of your own. 
you can you can stop it. Uh, let's let's see what this is. Oh, this is showing how you check your tokens on Ether Scan. Um, and they have a in the documentation. Um, so here's the thing that they point out. You don't want to use your computer that you're doing your own renders on frequently. Um, in fact, if you really, if you really want to make money, you probably want to have a dedicated machine. And um, they go into, so it's pretty heavy load uh, on your uh, GPUs. So you need to make sure, and you should do this anyway. If you are building a machine, always make sure that you have enough, or beefy enough of a power supply that it can handle the GPUs. Um, I know I've had an update. I'm pretty sure I had to update a uh, power supply, replace a power supply because I updated my GPU and uh, the power supply that was in the box was not capable of handling that GPU. So be aware of that um, because that's, you're going to have problems if you, if you, and, and again, this is not just for if you're doing this, this is any of your GP, any of your machines that you're building. Um, obviously, if you go through a company to build your machine, they know what you need uh, and uh, you can work with them. And whether you're going to build it yourself or have it built for you, um, you know, you have to make sure that you get it, you have the right power supply. Uh, my understanding is that at this time, due to the supply chain stuff going on, it's probably better in terms of price and availability to buy a box that's put together for you. Now, as long as they're using mom and pop parts, not a big deal, right? If, um, you know, if, they, if they're using your NVIDIA GPUs, and it's an accessible case you can always get in if you need to upgrade. So what it, what it can do is save you time. I mean, if you buy all the parts and you have to have, make sure they're all there, and then you have to sit there and, and put it together, not that that's, you know, if you've done it before, it's not like it's the hugest job in the world, but um you have to know what you're doing you have to make sure that you're properly cooling your cpu or set that you have proper airflow in the machine and some of these cooling systems can be a little complex to set up the other advantage i think of getting it put together for you is they're responsible right if they making your machine and they put something in wrong and blow your cpu it's on them right because it has to they're going to test it they're going to send it to you uh, once it's been tested, so use a good company. If I mean, if that's if you want a new machine, uh, and uh, actually, I've been I watched a video by um, a CG artist, experienced CG artist, and he was talking. Essentially, gave the same same recommendation. Uh, this goes into your crypto wallets, setting up your wallet. Now, this may change if they actually go with Solen Solana. Solana? Got to get your tokens, et cetera, et cetera. But what I wanted to show you is, this is it. Now, this is talking about, there was one thing. Um, I think it was a node operator, FEQ. Here are your FAQs, but here, yeah, this is really cool. One of the questions you always get is, well, how much money can I make? So this is a little calculator. You can look at your GPUs um, and I'll estimate your electricity costs. You can look at that and your OB, uh, that's your octane benches. And we're going to, 
I think we're going to do another video on that. The priority of the job and how what usage percentage. So let's say you have a box with four 2080s and these are the wattage and this is the, the cost. This is the usage. So daily you, you would uh, get about $35 uh, a day. Annually would be $12,000, which is going to pay for the machine. Now, if you choose uh, to up your usage, let's say you're going to Say this is going to be mostly dedicated or something like this. You can earn nearly thirty thousand dollars a year, so you can make some coin um, if you set up your network and um, are able to commit to having a machine running and keep keep an eye on it, make sure the render jobs are coming out the way they should and, you know, so on and so forth. So this is, this is a, not a bad uh, side income here. Not a bad side income. Uh, but um, at any rate, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to talk about in terms of uh, Setting up your, uh, let's see, let's look at, see if there's anything interesting. In, okay. Okay, so be aware of the Brave browser. You can check your stuff. This is how you check stuff in Etherscan. Um, now, right, I know personally right now I don't have a machine I can dedicate to this, but let's say, I decide to replace my machine. Maybe I'll throw a 2080 into my old machine and and set something like get this up. And again, it's probably a good idea a that you can dedicate your box to it for the most part, and b that you make sure if that you have a proper box that you have enough cooling, you have enough power to handle. Uh, the tasks, because remember how well you do in terms of the rendering, how much or how uh, available you are, how good the renders come out. Is it you know that the, the artists are getting renders and they're happy with them. You're not getting a lot of do-overs and things of that nature. You have a better reputation. You'll get more jobs. You'll make more money. So um, anyway. Uh, I know this is a topic people have been interested in, so hopefully um, this has been informative. Uh, please, any questions, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments, and I will have a look and see what I can do in terms of getting you an answer, because uh, I think I think we all want it to, to be very familiar with this, um, uh, coming from various angles as someone interested in crypto, as someone who, if you're interested in um, a rendering in terms of being, in, you know, as a creator, uh, if you wanna make a little extra money and you can afford to have a machine that beefy enough to do this. I, I don't know how this is gonna change when they go with Solana. I'm sure at some point this, uh, this will be updated uh, with whatever changes uh, occur, and uh, we'll take it from there. So thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.